Okay, in terms of physical security, let's uh, uh, talk about the, uh, um, well, construction details. Uh, now, uh, most of those of us in security have not worked in construction, and most construction workers are not terribly concerned about security, at least the finer aspects of it. So, um, you know, we've, we've got the building. Uh, we may have nice, strong concrete walls on the outside of the building, but then we have entrances, right? Uh, and you have your main entrance, and then you have your secondary entrances. And I can remember one uh, place they had uh, the Goldfish Bowl entrance at the uh, main entrance, and uh, it was quite secure. They had very high walls that uh, would be very difficult to scale. They were completely smooth. Uh, the reception desk there, uh, the receptionist had uh, full control of the doors. It was kind of a man trap situation. It was really well designed. Unfortunately, it you know took a while to get through it, and uh, the uh, rest of the staff uh, they all used the loading dock entrance because it was wide open all day. So, you know, think about your secondary entrances. Um, think about your sensitive areas. You know, do we, uh, you know, here when we're talking about compartmentalized security, you can actually see it, you know, putting things in a separate room. Um, do you have, uh, you know, uh, special locks, special alarms for, you uh, these, you know, particular, e either, you know, individual pieces of hardware, uh, that's, that's one thing, or, or specific areas. Um, operator terminals, are they uh, secured in some fashion? Um, because, of course, they are, uh, you know, the people with complete access to all of your systems. Um, uh, servers and, and router rooms. Um, uh, you know, your, your machine rooms, uh, but also communications, uh, also uh, wiring closets, uh, wiring panels sometimes, um, your uh, modems, your circuit rooms, uh, things like that. Um, uh, what about your uh, magnetic media storage? Uh, now, you know, granted... Uh, Tapes are uh, maybe getting to be a bit old hat these days, but, you know, uh, do you, um, uh, <coughs> have you moved to USB drives, and are they just lying around anywhere, unsecured? Um, you know, so maybe you should have uh, a storage, media storage room uh, for keeping sensitive or critical information. Um, uh, and again, you know, in, in terms of hardware, do you have a uh, keyboard or console locks? Um, and, you know, all of these things. Now, in terms of construction, it doesn't really matter what you do with a door. I'll talk a bit more about doors. Uh, you can get through, uh, you know, access to a private secured office in most office buildings with just a box cutter. Um, and again, you know, do you have raised floors? Do you have dropped ceilings? You know, they, they're just open. Um, they don't have any barriers at all. So, you know, climbing over the walls, are, that's, that's an easy thing to do. So, um, you know, what, what is the construction? Um, do you have... Uh, specialty areas, and we'll talk about fire protection uh, in a bit here. Uh, some of the uh, fire protection issues in terms of construction are very interesting. Um, and uh, speaking of the which, you know, what's the fire rating of the construction? Uh, and particularly around your machine room, because of course, uh, you don't have anything flammable in the machine room, do you? You don't have spare boxes of printout paper, racks of manuals, paper manuals, uh, all over the place in the machine room. Uh, no, you would never do that, right? Mm. 
Uh, so, uh, you know, what, what is the fire rating? Um, and, you know, all of those things. Uh, by the way, you know, uh, raised floors, uh, dropped ceilings, that's, you know, air plenum space. Uh, and that'll feed fires too. So, yeah, lots of, lots of interesting things in, in terms of the, uh, the construction. Um, windows. Uh, you know, they're, they are a point of entrance as well. Um, you know, what is the glass type in, in the windows? Um, uh, and, and there's, you know, many, many different uh, types of glass and, and uh, specialty glasses that you may wish to use uh, in securing an area. But doors, um, oh, we got, you know, lots of of aspects of doors. First of all, most interior doors, um, if you do the thing that, you know, the, they show you on all the movies, you know, put your shoulder to the door and, and you know, run at the, the door leading with your shoulder, um, you're probably going to go right through it because most interior doors are simply a wood frame and two sheets of veneer. You know, so you're going to go right through the thing. Um, if you, you know, uh, if you want some security, you need a solid core door. Um, or uh, there are metal doors, of course, which are a, a metal frame and two sheets of metal, but at least it's metal and not veneer. And when uh, the military uh, want to really secure things, they, you know, take one of the sheets off one of those things and weld louvers all the way up. Uh, in the door so that you know it's it's secure it's it's going to take some doing but the thing is that doors themselves and it, again depending on what the construction is um you you know first thing to do is attack the lock and i'm not talking about lock picking i'm talking about kicking at the area of the lock it's probably going to tear out of the door frame if you can't kick out the lock uh kick at the hinges they will probably tear away from the door frame. If you can't deal with either the lock or the hinges, then just punch the frame itself and it will probably pop right out of the wall because it's probably just pinned there. Again, you know, issues of construction here that you, you need to think about in terms of, you know, is this really providing you physical protection? Um, and you, you need to think about these things. You need to, you know, maybe have somebody in construction to uh, examine how that building is constructed and whether or not it's going to protect what you want it to protect.